taking the day off and Randy I really appreciate you sitting in with me again today buddy good to be here again. got a doggone good looking show lined up in here and let's run over some of the action that'll be taking place in there Eddie Gilbert hot stuff will be here in the opening match and he'll be uh, going against Ken Raper in the opening match also that isn't all of the Gilberts we will end up with Tommy and Doug out here also as they'll be in a match today in addition to that, we're going to be looking at um, the Southern Tag Champions, Max Payne and gorgeous Gary Young will be here in with a... With Brother non Ernest Angel. Oh, yeah, he is here today, I know man. about that. With no, It'll be a non-title match. In addition to that, a, another tag team match it'll have for the first time here on our championship wrestling. Brickhouse Brown and Big Bad Jim will be going as a tag team. We've got a final six-man tag match, and on one side of the ring, we're going to have Jeff Jarrett, Billy Travis, and the Nightmare Ken Wayne. Is that going to be a fast team? What a championship wrestling and a great six-man tag to uh, cap it all off. Tell you what we'd better do. We'd better get at it. we got a lot to take care of, and we'll get to it right now. Be back in just a moment. Big action lined up today, and we're going to be getting into the ring of the opening bout. Hot stuff, Eddie Gilbert will be And speaking of stuff, uh, really feeling your oath. Yeah, I don't know why you're feeling all that good today. Oh, I, see, I see you got our Mr. Matchmaker here. Now, once you go ahead, I saw at the start of the show, you didn't really... He's sitting everybody in tells my Michael Padre, Randy Hills, everybody should know that he's taking Eddie Marlin's place now. Jerry Jarrett's doing the matchmaking around here. Oh, you're such a good guy, Randy Hills. Yeah. Now, I've noticed today, he's put together such a good wrestling card for today, by the way. I've noticed on here... I don't see Jerry the King Lawler wrestling today. No, he is not scheduled today. It's real funny to me, Lance Russell, for the past 15 years on this television, Jerry Lawler has capitalized and come out here and ran the show. He's been here every week upon week. He's always been here, but ever since Hot Stuff arrived in the area, I haven't seen Jerry Lawler live in person here yet. Where's he at? It's his own business. He will have his own reason for not being here, and we'll leave it at oh, that. I'll it's just go ahead. Business. I see you. Once again, you're being partial. Once again, you don't want to tell the no, people. No, I just simply said it's his business. It doesn't happen to be your business. That's all. It is my business because i got a lot to do with the reason why he's not here. See, people sitting at home, Jerry Lawler is not here today after the beating and the pounding he took last week from me. Wait a minute. Yes. No. He's sitting at home. He's hey, one, he proved he was coming back, and you said he wasn't going to be back here, too. You had a whale of a match, and let me tell you, I can see the scars right now remaining from Jerry the King Lawler. Are, the, are those glasses clear? Did you see the same match I saw that I was in? Yeah, the I The one saw. where Jerry Lawler was down begging, please don't hurt me. The one the referee was wanting to stop the match, and the people the people were crying, please stop the match. He keeps hurting. Oh, oh and he, yeah. he was begging. I tell you what, I almost felt sorry for yeah, him. Yeah, I know you Because he beat my poor fist horribly with his head so bad it was terrible. I was, uh, oh, Lord, please don't do that anymore. I felt so sorry for him for a little while, and then I said, nope. I'm not going to feel sorry for you, Jerry Lawler. You brought it upon yourself. I told you I was a new king. You've got to realize, just like Larry Holmes, the great world boxing heavyweight champion, you were great in your time, but this is my time. Wait, wait think. a minute. You want to go in and make that kind of a story and try to make people... I believe that I can get a tape queued up of that no, match. We've okay. got one in wait, the house. Wait, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. No. Stop back there. It specifically states in my contract that you or nobody else can show any tape of mine without my permission written down. Well, you want to you tell such a big story? Can't. Let's take a look I'm at this. No, 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 no,
It's in my contract. Just take my word for it, people. I beat that poor king, if you want to call him that, across around the building so bad, I proved I'm the king of wrestling. If he was the king of wrestling, he would be here right now. But I'm here. He ain't got the guts to be here. He's a coward. And I have finally proved my story is correct and true. Uh-huh. Well, you've got a match in the ring. So well, once again, once again. What's the fastest here. time again? Didn't I set that record yeah, right? Yeah, you set the yeah. record at 16 seconds. I know. Okay. Eddie Gilbert going to the ring. Okay. Uh, we're about ready to start with our opening bout here. Finally, after we notice he didn't uh, want that tape shown. Uh, you want to make the official announcements on this one, uh, Randy? I'll be glad to, Lance. There's one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Introducing from Memphis, Tennessee, Ken Raper. His opponent, ladies and gentlemen, uh, from Every Girl's Dream, introducing Hot Stuff, Eddie Gilbert. With him at ringside is Missy Hyde and one away with this one fall, 10-minute time limit. Championship wrestling match, right? Ken Raper. What? My turn to commentate. Yes. Come on, Missy, let us do the match. Missy, let us do the show. Eddie Gilbert scissors the legs, takes Ken Raper down to... I've got more experience doing color commentating than you Missy, will you go back down to ringside down there, please? I don't want to, okay? Missy, let me tell you this. All the Gilberts have been trying to run this championship wrestling show for the last three or four weeks. You're not going to. We don't need you to do commentary here. Lance and I are completely satisfied. Well, you're not going to do it. Yes, I am. Yes. Listen, Lance, and Norm. Randy is my guest today, so just leave it alone, will you? I'm not by the station now. I'll fire you and I'll get rid of you and won't let you on this TV. I want to do it. Well, that's fine. I want to but... do it. I'm going to do it. Well, the day you want, hey, Missy, get out of here. You're not going to do it today. I don't care what you want. Lance, let's like say she's throwing a fit. I'm not going to get up. Come on, Missy, just go back over there and sit down. Eddie Man, Gilbert and Ken Raper, here. Eddie Gilbert. Eddie Gilbert in with Ken Raper in the middle of the ring, and, uh, ooh, nails Raper. You're not going to be here, right Missy. That's all there is Get to, to the ringside, please. Eddie Gilbert in the ring with Ken Raper. Yeah, I want to do this. Come on, you have a match in the ring, Eddie. Everybody hey, likes me. Better. Count the guy out. Yeah. What is the problem? Here? Listen, she isn't what invited is the problem? here. She is not going to do this show. I'm getting tired of the Gilbert. Lance is getting tired of you guys trying to run this championship. If you ever thought for program. a second, maybe the ratings on this show has picked up a lot since the Gilberts have been on. You ever thought about that? Come on, Ed. Well, let me tell you, you're getting hey, counted out. You're getting counted out. You're getting counted out. You think I care? Bro. I care for more about my lady than that match. Okay, what? today. Nine, she wants to come and take you. Ten, ten, you have just lost you the match. You lost the match, brother. In the back. Beat hot stuff, Eddie oh, Gilbert. You, you see him beat me one, two, three. You get up and hurt him. He got his. The match There's is over. He's not going to the match is over. Now or nowhere in this show. We're not going to let you or we're not going to let you run this show, Lance. I'm sorry. Oh, Come on sudden, then. Just because Eddie Martin, Jerry, Jerry. Just because you're like their adopted son, you want to come out here, make up the pretty matches. You think all of a sudden you're Mr. Boss right there? I'm telling you. Come on, I'm Eddie. telling you right now. You're not going to do this show. This is not the place to conduct business. It's my show. It's the, it's the Eddie Gilbert, Missy Hyatt show. You can't tell me. You don't tell her what to do. You set your butt down right now. Hey, let me tell you something, Eddie Gilbert. We're getting tired of this. You're not going to tell us how to run. Championship wrestling, you're not in the rest of the Gilbert's hey. not. We'll run the business. Why don't you go ask Jerry, Jerry, or anybody else who works in this promotion that's ever told me anything to do? If I don't want to do it, I won't do it. I don't like listen to authority. I don't like authority. Nobody tells me Let what me to do. Let me tell you, you came out here last week and you burned Jerry Jerry. That's right. Jerry Jerry burned his whole life, Eddie Gilbert, to build, to build his wrestling career and build this business. And we're not going to have people in here. I don't want any more of it. Get out of here. Hey, and and you have a real oh, Andy, you don't have to talk to him. We've got a brand coming up in here. Well, get out of here right now. Andy, get out of here. You don't learn a lesson from Jerry, from Jerry, Jerry, Jerry did you? You don't learn a lesson from Jerry, did you? Did you?
take a break and we'll be back here in just a minute. Action Wednesday night at Evansville Coliseum, boy, and let me tell you what, this is it. Eddie Gilbert, Jerry the King Lawler, non-sanctioned, nobody wanted any part of this one, anything goes type of match. That's right, you know, I always hate coming to Pressville, Indiana, that's what I call it because I get so depressed every time I go to the arena because all the people are always booing me, they're booing Missy Hyde, they're booing Doug and Tommy Gilbert, and by the way, before I get to the ring with Jerry the King Lawler at Evansville, I know my dad and Doug Gilbert are finally going to put Eddie Marlin out the pasture where he belongs. And Jeff Jarrett, you think you're just starting your career, he'll, they'll end it right there in Evansville. Now, Jerry the King Lawler, you have finally, after weeks and weeks and weeks and months and months and now a few years, you have finally agreed to meet me on my kind of match and on my kind of turf in Evansville. That means anything goes, non-sanctioned, you can't have your favorite referee, you can't have the people yelling, please stop the match, we want to save Jerry the King Lawler's career, because this time in Evansville, Indiana, I will put you out for good. <laughs> in the ring here in just one moment as the action continues on Championship Wrestling. Coming up next will be Tommy and Doug Gilbert in a time. And I, I just want to say, and, and I don't see Eddie here, but I'll tell it to you because I know you'll get to him. As far as I'm concerned, your son is suspended. Uh, I, what do you mean, I, as hey, far as you're concerned? Just what I said, he deserves hey, it. The man, stuff that he's do, pulled out of You do here. the commentating back here. You don't go to telling anybody. That's just the way it is. You and Lawler and Jared and everybody else and Eddie Marley, you want to talk about somebody whenever they're not out here. No, but no, 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 like I'd be this, glad to tell him right out here. And I'll tell you, I'll do everything that I can to make sure a suspension would stick on him because he sure deserves it, the stuff that he's pulled oh, off sure, out here. Yeah. That's yeah. the way y'all are. You want to gang up and do stuff like that. Oh, look who's Shit. talking about ganging up. Not one, Gilbert, not two in a tag team match. There's always got to be the whole bunch of you together. Family You're tradition, Lance. Sure. Family tradition, yeah. man. Do you know it? Because I want to tell you something. You know, I've sat around Eddie Marlin running his mouth all this about what he's going to do and what he, how he's going to fight me. I tried to figure out how I could put him out of wrestling, set him back in his easy chair at the house where he could sit around and do nothing, maybe once in a while get up and go to the grocery store. See if I could break his arm or leg or something like that. And then I got to thinking, what hurts more than yourself? That's family, Lance. Yeah. Well. You go into the family. <laughs> you go into the family, you know. Then that way you pull it out of here then. You hurt a man in here. Eddie Marlin, I hope you're listening and listening good because I want you to understand. I know you finagled around and boom for today. You talked to Randy and says, I want to partner and I want to be against them. Give it. That's fine. Because now, you know who you've got? You've got the hit man out there that's going to be out there with Dad. And you know where he learned his stuff? Do you know where Eddie learned his stuff? Who did they learn it from? Think about it. He learned it from me. Eddie did. It all comes down, Lance. And have I ever walked out here before and told you that I was going to do something that I didn't do? I don't Eddie Marlin, you I just stand in that corner lean against the ring post to do whatever you want to do and you watch us take Jeff Jarrett and show you what pain is really like and then you'll know whenever it comes out of here then you'll know what pain is really like whenever you see your family hurt and Jeff you don't know what you're stepping into man because this kid over here and that's what he is because he's mine and I'll call him a kid until he's a hundred but this one over here is the one that's going to stretch you and do everything you can be thought of. Yeah, well, you may have a little surprise coming for you when you see Jeff Jarrett in there with Eddie Martin. And what are you doing here? Why don't you just get over here in the chair? No, I don't have to. Come on, Not Missy. Just now just get point. up and leave here. If you can't do that, at least have the courtesy hey, you to better, be quiet. You better watch out, Lance, because if you mess the fire, you're going to get burnt. Yeah, okay. I'll, other, I'll tell you one thing. Got burnt. Uh, I just wonder where you're going to be going next, because I'm going to do everything I can to get that suspension to stick on Eddie Gilbert. He's got oh, no business. Please. There's no place for any of that kind of thing around. Oh, here. you can't do nothing. You guys need an attitude adjustment. Your attitude lately, Lance, has just been the pit. I think you need to lighten up and get loose. Yeah. 
Up in the ring right now, David Johnson being double teamed by the Gilbert. No, Tommy right. being told to get out of there by referee Jerry Calhoun. Alan Reynolds and David Johnson going against the hitman Doug Gilbert and uh, his dad, Tommy Gilbert. Johnson whipped into the ropes. Nailed with a big upper arm as he comes off of it. This is just a little bit of what they're going to do to Jeff Jarrett. Look, I can handle Marlin. the commentary. I do not need any comments from you on it. I don't need here. commentary. I'm the best commentator you have, Lance yeah. Russell. You better be thankful that I'm even out here. One, two, three, and that's going to be it. I'm sitting here. I wasn't even paying attention to the match, but Doug Gilbert got the one, two, three on David Johnson. And here's Tommy Gilbert over jumping on Alan Reynolds. The match is over, Wes. <laughs> People aren't even, that's really Jeff Jarrett and Eddie Marlin. They don't even have, well, you want to see Jeff Jarrett and Eddie Marlin, how about that? There they are, right there. In the match, a minute and 51 seconds. That's probably a new tag team record. Go, yeah, sure. It goes to Tommy Gilbert and Doug Gilbert as they ended up with a win over Alan Reynolds and uh, David Johnson. Yeah. You better get well, I told you, you better get out of here. Now, just stay out. Nobody wants to hear anymore. You, you get out of the studio. Get out of here. Get out of here. Just, get out of here. Hey, just leave. There won't be any more trouble. Just leave. Just take her out of there, will you? And you too, Tommy Gibbons. Come over here and say that up here where I can reach you. You know... There's been a lot of people coming in this area. They was gonna run the king out of there. They's gonna run Jerry Jarrett out of there. They's gonna run me out. Now they wanna run him out. But Jerry the King Lawler is still here and going strong. Jerry Jarrett's retired, but for no reason of the Gilberts. I'm still here. I told Tommy I was 57 and I'd fight him and I am fighting him. He hadn't beat me yet. Boy, you got that right. He says he can do it. He's got to prove it to me. Now, he brought his family into it. Yep. It was a matter of me and him. I thought it was just Tommy Gilbert and Eddie Marley. But every time you get out here, you got Dougie, you got Eddie, and this little lady here, as far That's as I'm concerned generous. right now, she's a Gilbert. And the situation right now, I wouldn't put it past me to lay a hand upside her head. So I don't want her around me because I don't want to hit a lady. But he brought his family. Now, my family's here. He said it's a family affair. You're mighty right. He said Dougie was a kid. I watched this kid grow into a man. And he wants to hurt me here. He's got a lot of whipping to do on this fella before he'll say I quit because he's related to old pops. And you know, of course, they're going to earmark you, Jeff, That's to right, see man. everything they can do. Lance, I've seen, seen Eddie have his matches against Tommy Gilbert, and he's taken beating after beating. He didn't have to get in there and wrestle anymore. You know, I've just been wrestling two years, and I've learned a lot of wrestling holds, but we're going to throw that right out the window. When we get in the ring this week, it's going to be a fight, and I guarantee you, you better bring a sack lunch because you're going to be there a long time because he's taken a lot of beatings, and I can take just as much, brother. You show up, and you're going to see a fight, Lance. Well, I know that for a fact, Eddie, and i got to tell you one thing. I didn't think you had to take those whippings that he gave you in there because Doug Gilbert came in, but you were man enough like, to stand like up and do it. the contract said, the loser gets the 10 lashes. It didn't say how you lost. Tommy Gilbert did not beat me, but I was the loser. And I took the lashes, and I'm looking forward to the day that I can get even with Tommy Gilbert. Well, and that day will come. That day will let's, come. Uh, let's take a look. You can see Eddie's back there. I know it's a painful memory of it, but at least you're man. Good luck to you in there, boy. And I'm telling you guys, you go out there and take care of the job that needs to be taken care of. We'll take time. I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> coming up 
of the future I want to mention on Thursday, April the 14th, Electric Indiana. It's at the community center, 8 p.m. You can save a buck, get your tickets in advance. And on Friday, April the 15th, Greenville, Kentucky. Championship wrestling coming your way. Now, let's take a look at Evansville, Indiana. Boy, what a night it's going to be. Gorgeous Gary Young opens up against Billy Travis. A U.S. tag team title match when Steve Kern and Mike Graham will be coming in to go against Jonathan Boyd, the Sheep Herder, and Moondog Spike. A CWA heavyweight title match when Max Payne defends the title against the nightmare Ken Wayne. Brother Ernest says he'll throw a thou out to the crowd if his boy gets beat. And then you're going to have the family feud. Tommy and Doug Gilbert will be going against Jeff Jarrett and Eddie Marlin leading up to the final bout. Non-sanctioned, anything goes when hot stuff Eddie Gilbert and Jerry the King Lawler will face each other one-on-one -on -one with no rules. Let it all rip. Wednesday night. Team is not anywhere on this format today. Yes, it You're is. not here as a guest commentator. Yes, I am. And, and I'm just glad you got rid of those rednecks out here. Anyway, I had to go put on my uh, lipstick. Yeah, well, why don't you go put on some more makeup or something and just leave us alone out here? Well, you don't mind if I ignore you because I don't, you're not here as far as I'm concerned. I will tell you one thing. You think I can't do something about that suspension on, on Eddie Gilbert? Just wait and see. Sure. You better believe it. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, well... Boy, you try to come out and do a happy program, and and well, what, uh, what I here? what I need, what I need is quiet time right now. And Brother Ernest said he'd take care of that. Well, hello there, and welcome once again to Quiet Time. We're getting into week two, and I just I'm excited, and I know you are too. You know, many times when you cut wrestling on, you think. Boy, what a bogus person that is. These other people in wrestling, they are bogus. There's several of them. We're going to weed them out as my coalition is done. But I want you to know I'm not bogus, and I am your friend. Yes, I know you. The, the response that we've had has just been tremendous, uh, the way that you've been writing me. Please continue. Write me in care of this station. But this week, I want to read you the letter of the week. It says, Dear Brother Angel and the Coalition, My great-great-grandmother left me several things from the Civil War that were used by my great-great-grandfather. They're of no use to me. What sentimental value I have with those it is nothing compared to what the cause is that you're doing, building Wrestling USA and the Coalition of Straightening Wrestling Up. In close, you will find a large check for what I got for these Civil War relics. Boy, that's what we like to hear. That's what we like to see. Remember, keep your checks coming. Make your check out to Wrestling USA. And right now, once again, I want to ask you just to reach over, touch the TV set, and let me feel the power that you have and the wonderful things you'd like to say to me. I'm going to part with you once again, you, me, and the good book. Well, there's the quiet news from uh, Brother Ernest Angel. We're going to be uh, seeing Brother Ernest out here. Is coming to the ring now, Rick Fontana and uh, William the Freezer Thompson, who will be the opposition for... Huh? He's called Jerry Lawler. He's called Lawler. Hey. We don't need to call him. Nobody ask you out here. I'll call anybody I want to. Now, don't oh, I guess you're going to be calling your mom. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, well, thank you. You are so smart. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Now, why are you calling him? Don't keep her out of town, Lance. Oh, I know. Hey, would you quit calling that goof? Yeah, you got to run the show. Why are you trying to run the show? Wait just a minute, Jerry. Hold it. Can you hold it just a second? Hold the match just a second. Yeah, he's trying to call the goose Jerry Lawler. He's running the show. A match like that in the ring, and you want to you call that idiot. Hey, I'm calling him. Nobody asked you for your permission or anything else. Well, you should have. I don't get any... I don't know who. Yeah, he probably took his phone off the hook because he's here. scared. Hello. I bet the king's probably on the throne. Oh, yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me hang up and try it again. Yeah, hang up and try again. Later.
later, much later, a long time. I don't know why you're trying to call him. He's so scared, that's why he's not here today. That's why you got to call him on the phone, because he's chicken. Missy, will you just put a cork in it for crying out loud and give us a chance to do this show? Yeah, you put a cork. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Ah, uh, he ain't there. Not ringing. He's probably hiding. Yeah, and that Eddie Mormon told him that he's going to slap me or something. What a man he is. Let's he has to touch a woman. He's time. about as low as Jerry Lawler. <laughs> Great wrestlers like y'all wrestle. Is that talking to this idiot on the phone? Is that a... I know. Okay, we're going in just a minute. I don't... Hello. I can't hear it. Lance Russell running another We're, we're not making it. For some reason or another, the mic... Uh, we're not getting it out of the speaker, Bob. I, I can't hear it. No, it's on. It's on. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's get into the match. We'll see if we can get yeah, a hold of him. Yeah, let's get into the match. A lot more exciting. Than okay, than let's go, Jerry. Trying to get a hold of the king. And yes, you know, no who cares about the king? Let's talk about Brother Ernest and Max Payne and Gary Young. You know, Brother Ernest is such a smart man. In the ring, Max Payne hit Rick Fontana with a uh, clothesline and nailed him down. This is the AWA Southern Tag Team Champions you're looking at. Oh, and they are great at it, too. And, you know, Brother Ernest is such a smart man. You know, he introduced me to this lady named Tammy the other day. She's such a nice lady. Everybody talks about how bad she is, and I think she's a beautiful person inside and out. We went makeup shopping, too. I'll bet you did. You're looking at uh, the Beauty and the Beast. Oh, okay. There. Gorgeous Gary Young. So Max Payne has got to be the Beast as he climbs in. He's the CWA heavyweight title holder. And they are just absolutely cleaning the ring up with Rick Montana. What a great uh, tag team. A little double team. Reminds me of the Gilberts as uh, Gary Young from outside the ring kicks hey, in on Rick Hey, you better Bryan. not talk bad about the Gilberts because you've seen a lot of people get burnt around here, Lance, and you might be the next one. There goes uh, gorgeous Gary Young off the uh, post, but he didn't go for the pin. Gorgeous Gary picks him up. Oh! Oh, gosh. I, There's Max Payne after the tag. One, two, three, and that's going to be it. Without too much difficulty ew. as they took care of Rick Fontana. I want to I want to interview him. I want to interview him. They want me. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. There you go, baby. Misty, hi. I got to tell you what a pleasure it is to have you out here. We've known each other for a long time, but let's get down to it. Billy Travis. You are nothing to me, man. Don't even think you can step in the ring and do the things you do because you can't do it without the help of Jeff Jarrett and everybody in this area knows that. But I'll tell you what, you know, there's some stories that Brother Ernest and my mighty Max Payne have and they want to go into the good book. Oh, you know, take care of Brother Ernest. I, you know, the good book teaches many things and it teaches a story about a little boy named David and a large man named Goliath. You know Sister Hyde, it's going to change. You know History's going to change. That's it's right. going to be this time the Giants going to win. That's right. Oh, oh baby, baby, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, Kenny Wayne, you got to yeah. step in the ring with this giant baby. And this time, don't bring no sling. Don't bring anything. You better bring your biggest guns, baby, because I'm going to tear you to pieces. And you better be ready, Nightmare, because it's going to be one long nightmare for you. One long miserable night. And this night, boom! Yeah, well, I can tell you. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, Lance. You know what, we'll, we'll win these titles anywhere, anytime. It don't matter. You can bring any opponent anywhere you want, and we'll be there. And this is, you know it. We well, you. enough of the comedy hour. We'll be, Let's take a and break, we'll and we'll right be back. After this. Run the show again. Yeah. 
out. Welcome back to CWA Wrestling. I'm Mr. Okay, Hyde, we're going to be back in the ring here in just a moment. And uh, this guy over here is Lance Russell, and he's trying to get the goose, Jerry Lawler, on the phone. You're running our ratings. Well, you let me worry about that, would you please, Missy? Hello, Lance. Hey, Jerry. Yeah. Uh, Jerry, you, let, you me, let, let me talk to you. Hey, if you're such a man, why aren't you out here? Why aren't you here at TV today, huh? Well, let me just say, tell you something, you little fleece bag. First... <laughs> You asked for it. Well, I want to tell you one thing. I want to refresh your memory and everybody else's memory. There used to be a guy that wrestled here, and he had a little, I don't know, whatever you want to call yourself, just like you. It was Rick Rude, and he had a little broad named Angel that ran around the ring. And I finally had, I finally got fed up, and I finally had to punch her lights out. And yeah, I, why don't you try? Why don't you come down here and do it? I don't want to talk to you anymore. Stop up. Marvelous, Missy. Okay, we're running behind on time. We're going to have to get it on here. Boy, I'll tell you what, you're asking for it. You are really yeah, flat asking, asking for it. For it. Too. Uh huh. Well, last time. We he'll be that. visible and easy to find. Coming out right now Billy Travis, Ken Wayne, and the Bruise Brothers. Guys, uh, or. We have had an upsetting day, and we're running short, but I did want to talk to you about the action you got coming up in the near future. Well, you know, I heard what Max Payne and, and Brother Ernest out here saying about David and Goliath and how they're going to change history. Well, guys, let me tell you something. History has a way of repeating itself. And Max Payne, you're not the first big guy I've ever been up against, and I didn't come this far in this business by wrestling small guys, and I know how to beat big guys. We know you're big and you're bad and you're strong, but I also know you're real dumb. You're real stupid. And that's where I hold an edge on you. Now, when I walk out of that title, the CWA title, when it's over and done with, I want all you people on the ringside to get up close to the ring because Brother Ernest is going to throw $1,000 out. Yeah. And uh, I'm not leaving with that title. I'm going to stand there and I'm going to get part of that money myself. Okay, good luck to you, man. Good You're on a roll and Thank really you. had him going in there. Good luck to you. Man, it's always a pleasure to talk and, to you. And uh, Max Payne's buddy, gorgeous Ooh. Gary Young, is really hot at you about that battle royal cage situation. Well, you know, Lance, uh, you can't take anything away from Gary Young. He is a capable wrestler, capable of beating anybody at any time, you know. But I'm also capable of beating anybody at any time. I've been on a winning streak, as I told you, 1988 would be my year. Gary Young, you get ready because Billy Travis is going to be ready for you. Looking forward, Thank you, Billy. Lance. Thanks for being out there. Ron and Don Bruce, I want to say hi to you guys. Listen, I want to tell you, you held the Southern titles not exactly the longest time anybody had them, but I want you to know, and I haven't had a chance to talk to you since that time on television here, we are so proud of what you guys have done. I swear I've never seen any two guys come along any faster, and congratulations, you've been looking great. Thank you very much, Lance. We're very fortunate. We've only been here a few months in this area, and we've already held the Southern Tag Team titles. Um, everybody knows that Max and Gary, of course, took the titles back from us, but only with the outside interference of Brother Ernest. Brother Ernest, that's exactly and right. And due to that fact, I feel that we should have another shot at those titles. Um, but for some reason, they seem to be avoiding that, Lance. I well, don't know what's going on. I, I, I think you're absolutely right. You do deserve another title. Wait a minute, Lance. You got these two, I don't know what you want to call them, identical twins. Can I understand it? Brother Ernest interfered in the match for one thing. It never happened. I tell you what, punks. Y'all got a long way to go before you get to the caliber of this gorgeous one right here. So I tell you what. You go back home and you find whatever you got. Get some money up. Put something on the line. Go to your banker. Go to your best friend. Go to your mama. Go to the old lady at the nursing home and rob her. I don't care what you do. If you want a title shot with us, you got to come up with some cash, baby. Come up with some cash. Well, all I can tell you is go home to Florida. Put that fruit stand up. Pocket. I don't care. Put some money on the line and I'll put my boys. I'm not a very good manager if I let my boys and I'd let my people down to the coalition for wrestling USA if I just threw their money away. Hey, these guys need deserve a job. Up, they don't deserve words. nothing. In other they words, don't deserve nothing. new kids on the block, they want the belts, they want yeah. this tag match. You're going to take advantage orders? of the belts and make oh, them put some money up in order to get it. What is life? All life is there. money. We are businessmen, baby. Businessman, that's what it's been about. If you want a title shot, we've got something you think you can wear around your waist. 
then you go home, baby, and you find all the oh, green okay. olders. Bring That's up right. some cash. Okay. I tell you what, I'll be nice about it. I'll give you seven days to come up with whatever you got. Oh, seven how days. can you be so generous? Oh, well, I'm a okay. nice guy. Look, we yeah. understand where you guys are coming from. I feel from. good. We... I got my okay. pain, baby. Okay. We'll, we'll come up with something. Right? Well, we'll we'll get together about. with Mark and we'll come up with something, we'll, guys. We'll, we'll be back. Whatever it takes, go we'll come up with it. Out you out put them up. We'll come up with whatever you want. You can go see the folks for money. They've made the statement so everybody knows it, and we need to we need to say we'll hold you to it if these guys can come up with it. Good luck to you guys. Hey, best of luck to you. We're looking forward to it, Don. Okay. Let's see if we can get some action in the ring in here. Whoop, where is it? There. Don't be sitting over here pouting, Missy. You brought it on yourself, the comments that you had to make out there. Oh, I think that's great. Brother Ernest is a very smart man. Okay, the introduction to know the next my match. coalition, all creeds and colors. I don't Across care. Across the way on the right-hand side of the screen, it's going to be the tag team of Rodney Naper and Doug Dancing uh, will be teaming together. And their opponents will be Brickhouse Brown and his partner, Big Bad Jim, will be going. And boy, you're talking about some size. Look at the size on this guy. Uh, most of you probably don't recognize it by name and due to the fact that uh, when you're covered up in football clothing and all of that big bad jim you might know is jim caffey who played around the nfl most recently was at the uh, indianapolis colts he's the partner of brickhouse brown first time we've seen them together that's doug dancing in the ring right now dancing with brickhouse nice reversal Hip toss and down he goes. Uh-oh, Brickhouse knee to the midsection. Brother Ernest, I just can't get over how smart a man he is trying to clean up wrestling. Well, I'll tell you one thing for a fact. He'd sure agree with you what a smart man he is. He is. Uh, Brother Ernest, when are you going to break dirt at Wrestling USA? If the cards and letters and the donations keep coming in like they're coming, we're going to be able to, I guess we need to start on that retirement center first for land. Uh -huh. Yeah, we sure do. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll start on that first. I can just see it now with 24-hour wrestling and, and just so... What about our restaurant? What about the restaurant? Oh, what a fine restaurant we're going to have. We, we, you know, we've been planning the menu. Oh, I know. And we can't wait. Next week, maybe we'll have the menu for you. Yeah, guys. we'll have it all if ready for you. you guys can let's... break up Chatty Corner, we'll get back to the wrestling match. Well, we already here, know right? that oh. Big Bad Jim and Brick House Brown are just going to beat these little boys up. They're just like Brick House playing with them. Coming off the road over there. What do you call that? That's what called. Rodney, <laughs> Rodney Napper <laughs> tried to stop him, oh, but Brickhouse you know, came down with a big elbow. I can't believe it. Brickhouse on the cover. You have. Two. You know, I'm really lucky to he find got him. such good efforts. You got one, two, three. Well, it's all over with. Lance, it's always a pleasure to see you. Well, see you in that retirement home. Don't forget if you're making your check out, Wrestling USA Retirement Center, I can get you in on the pre-construction price. Golly, yeah, Brother Ernest, you made my day. <laughs> We're going to take time. I'll be back in a moment. Coliseum, look out. That's the only thing I can tell you. Coming up, a non-sanctioned bout. That's right. CWA won't touch it. AWA won't touch it. Nobody wants the responsibility for this one. Anything goes. Jerry the King Lawler faces hot stuff Eddie Gilbert. Jerry, I know exactly, even though Gilbert says this is his kind of match, I know your feelings about it. Yeah, well, if anybody believes that Eddie Gilbert wants this match, I got some swamp land in Florida I'd like to say you. Let me tell you something, Eddie Gilbert. I know what you're thinking. You and your father, Tommy, and your brother, Dougie, and Missy Hyatt, you think you're going to come in this area and take over. You think you've run the King out, Bill Dundee out, Steve Kern out, now Jerry Jarrett. You think that you are going to run things around here. Well, you got another thing coming, I can assure you of that. That's fixing to come to a screeching halt because the King is back. Yeah, you did a number on me, Eddie Gilbert. I'll show you right here what you did, brother. And take a good look at it, because I look at it each and every day, and every time I look at it, I think of you, Eddie Gilbert. And what I did last week 
is just the start, just a sample of what's in store for you. And because of last week, that's why nobody wants to touch this match. That's why no organization, CWA, AWA, nobody wants to be responsible for what's going to take place in this match. Because anything goes. There's no time limit. There's no stop in this match. There's no disqualification. Anything goes, Gilbert. And that's what I got in store for you. Anything that I can think of, I'm going to do to you Wednesday night. And that's what it is yes, right it now. Yes, it is. Oh, and we yeah, would I like to know. Oh, you already have trivia. messed up one of these things a couple no, of weeks ago. No, 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 no. I got please. a question. Who is the exclusive designer who designs all my clothes? Nice. Well, you may get some answers you don't famous. want. And he's very famous. And he's very famous. Mm-hmm. Okay, here is the question that was asked a couple of weeks ago that we have the winner on it is, what two brother teams, brother teams, have held the Southern Tag titles? And the correct, and Gilbert. The correct answer came from Billy West III of Memphis, Tennessee. Congratulations, Billy. Your answer was Rick and Robert Gibson. Ron and Don Brews, there are other brothers, but those two qualify, and Billy West from Memphis, Tennessee is the winner of the trivia for that particular week, and Billy, your name goes in with the others. There will be a total of 18 weekly winners. For the weekly win, you're going to get a nice set of uh, half a dozen Renegade mugs, you'll get t-shirts and that sort of thing, but the biggest thing is your name goes in as one of the 18 that will qualify for the finals. And that's the big son of a gun, where we're going to be flying in the winners to the finals of the Renegade Rampage. They will get $500 spending money, their accommodations, and so forth. All of wow. that will be coming up in June. So Billy West, Memphis, Tennessee, congratulations. Now, I would like to give you the situation of how you can get into the Renegade Contest, Trivia Contest, this way. We have a trivia question for this week. That is as follows. This should be of interest to you, Missy. Many wrestlers travel with their valets. Name two valets who have appeared in this area. Well, what an easy if you, question. Well, don't give us the answer, please. And if you will write to Renegades Rampage Trivia Contest. Now, that must be on your entry. And should they, which is the prettiest valet he's appeared in this and area? send it to WMC <laughs> 1960 Union Avenue, Memphis, Tennessee, 38104. And we will take all of the winning uh, entries and draw a name, and they will be the weekly winner on us. So good luck to you, Renegades Rampage Trivia Contest, WMC, and you had the address. We're going to take time out, check our top watch, and we'll be back in a moment. Back and ready to go with our... Uh, six-man tag match on one side of the ring you're going to be looking at uh, Billy Travis who says hi to his mama in Lexington Kentucky well, I Ken Wayne the nightmare please uh, Missy let me get the introductions done and the uh, third man on that side of the ring will be Jeff Jarrett Travis Wayne and Jarrett going against Larry Wright who is starting out the uh, blue knight will be uh, one of the three, and Keith Eric will be the third. So it's Larry Wright in the ring right now. When you look at the team of uh, Jeff Jarrett and Billy Travis and the Nightmare, you, you think about buying stock in Clairol, don't you? <laughs> uh, you may. Oh, and, and Billy Travis saying hello to his mom in Lexington, Kentucky. Well, I my this TV program goes all around, and my parents are in Tallahassee, Florida. And I want to say hello to my mom and dad, Bob and Gloria Hyatt, and my sister and my nephew. Hi, everybody. You sure you don't have any uh, high school chums you'd like to include on that list? Maybe no. 40 or 50? Thank you. I'm sure you don't have any high school chums. Just my mom and dad. <laughs> Ken Wayne in there with Keith Eric right now. As Wayne turns him over, gets a 1-2. And he was on his way to having it done. Oh, and you know, what is this about Jerry Lawler calling me names? He's not here. He can't do it in front of Eddie. He can't do it face to face with Eddie. I'd like to see what kind of person Jerry Lawler hangs out with. I'd like to see what kind of woman he goes out with. Mm -hmm. huh, he's probably embarrassed. Keeps her at home. Don't want anybody to see what he looks like. Not really. 
You can believe it. Take my word for it. Jeff yeah. Jarrett in there with Keith Eric. Rolls the arm underneath again. A second time tag on Billy Travis. Travis! Look at that double teaming. Look at that cheating they're doing. It is, in fact, a double team. I wouldn't deny it for anything in the world. Double elbow, and Keith Eric makes it to the corner and tags the blue knight. Travis stays in. Billy picked up some uh, needed renegade points here in the past week, but Max Payne is still well out in front on the renegade rampage. Gorgeous Gary Young holds his second spot. That's and Eddie Gilbert's right up there, too. Eddie Gilbert has not been in enough to really be up in contention. Oh, well, he will be. Don't oh, worry. Okay. I, I certainly uh, hope so for your sake, Missy. Mm. The Nightmare popping an elbow in on the Blue Knight, and here's Billy Travis making a return appearance. Lance, all I got to say is it's getting really hot here in the CWA, and you better watch your step. Yeah, yeah I'll You say better hot. watch your step. Well, I heard somebody holler it out nice. a little while ago here in the audience in there. Why didn't Eddie do it one-on-one, -on -one, man to man? Forget all that fire and stuff. He's a doggone tough. He's got to burn well, people around. Look who he burned today, Randy Hale. That's right. They don't call him hot stuff for nothing. Oh, I just think he's a Mm-hmm. In the air. Elbow comes down. Jeff Jarrett gets a cover one, but Keith Eric breaks it up. As Jarrett tags out to the nightmare Ken Wayne again as our time is running down. I just don't know who we should burn next. If it should be Jeff Jarrett or Eddie Marlin. I just don't know. Hmm. Blue Knight roll back up. Ken one, two, but he couldn't make it. Oh, yeah, he kicked his uh, legs and got himself out of that position in there. Ken Wayne looked like he was going for a body scissors, held up and tagged out to Billy Travis. Travis makes it into the ring. As he scoops the blue knight up, slam down, center of the ring, six-man tag till the expiration oh, of time. That so great. Grass and driving yeah. him around. You also, you also click probably heard it from Eddie here. Gilbert, too, oh, and yeah. consider sure the he, source. Sure, he does everything. I wonder if he picks his clothes, takes his clothes and picks them up with the dry cleaner, too. Backdrop, Jeff Jarrett on Blue Knight. I bet Jerry Lawler probably doesn't even pay him either. <laughs> I had to do all his little errands. Uh -oh. I bet my dad's pool boy gets pool boy gets paid more money than he does. Yeah, I'll bet. And he's an illegal alien. I wouldn't. <laughs> Big drop kick, Billy Travis. Oh, yeah, it took two of them to do it. Blue Knight, count of one, two. He got it. As the Blue Knight ended up in, and the winner. Jeff Jarrett, Ken Wayne, the Nightmare, and Billy Travis. Well, they beat whoever they had to beat, and that's uh, oh, what is important in that. Yeah. Well, here we are, winding up another splendid day. Dave Brown, thank goodness, will be back next week. No, he won't. We'll be... No, he won't. I'll be here, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> We'd like to remind you again, if you missed it earlier in the show, Eddie Gilbert was out here and burned Randy Hales. Uh, and, oh, yeah. That he was, shouldn't be messing. He should messing. not be. Messing. He was out here doing I invited him. I didn't invite you. Who are you, you to invite somebody? I happen to be, be out here. I can. Uh, huh, not for long. <laughs> <clears throat> We'd like to remind you again. Of the action that uh, will be around with you next week in the opening bout, Eddie Gilbert came through with a victory over Ken Raper. Uh, no, he lost that one. He Do walked out of the ring and got counted out while he was standing here arguing he about Missy Hyatt doing the commentary he on it. Missy, you know, I tell you, it would be so much easier for both of us if you would just let me handle the doggone show and stop interrupting and all. We're going to get out of here. We're going we're gonna to see you next week. Yeah, we sure will. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. The announcers on this program are selected and paid by parties other than this station, namely the promoters of championship wrestling.